welcome back. We're going to be looking at our first Velvet Revolver tune in this lesson. Can't believe we haven't done one of these already, but um, it piqued my memory uh, because it was Scott Whelan's birthday. It would have been his birthday a few days ago, so I thought it would be nice to, to celebrate his legacy and also to get into some slash territory. So let's crack on and have a look. For the clean part, I'm going into my neck position. Cleanish amp and the Julia Analog chorus. That sounds like this. And then for the um, other parts, I'm just going to the bridge pickup and I'm using the 1991 uh, dirt pedal. Now worth mentioning that the original is in a half step down. I'm not doing that today, but if you want to play along with the album, you're going to have to tune your whole guitar down half a step. Now the verse and the chorus part chords are the same. You've got a D for two bars. C to G. The little passing C chords uh, back to the D, right? Um, but it's what Slash does with those chords, obviously, that makes it sound awesome. So the first part goes like this. And around, right? So that was it to speed, slowly. D shape, but put your little finger on the third fret, on the top E, right? And you're going to strum the kind of top three strings, and then take your little finger off. Then arpeggiate down. But then you take your first finger off when you get to that string. And then you're going to need to put your little finger on the fourth fret on the um, D. That's, this is probably the trickiest part, because then you're going to get back to that shape. So your little finger's got to go. That's going to be the trickiest part for sure, I think. It is for me anyway. And then you've got this other rundown, right? So it's not easy at all, this, I don't, I don't think, anyway. So the first part slowly. that first then do the second part and then you're into a C shape and um, when you transition between the two I'm not sure what slash is doing actually but I can't keep a chord shape while I'm moving between them I find it easier to just abandon it and just play I'm use my second finger to do the walk up Okay, and then you just arpeggiating it in the C. So, very slowly. And those chords at the end are just down, up, down, 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 right? And you're going to play G. And then lift your two fingers up and move them up to the C add 9. For the last beat of that bar, okay? So to speed, and then I'll show you a slight variation. And around. Now, the next time, it's all the same, first two bars anyway. But then you're going to go to this. And to play that, I've really got to flatten my thumb against the fretboard and kind of move my, my hand into the, into the neck of the guitar, right? So that I can flatten my first finger. Because then you're going to need to be able to quickly do that, right? To get the next note. Whilst you're also <laughs> playing the C chord, right? So get used to playing that. You could actually just take your um, whole first finger off as well, if that's easier. And then put it back down onto the B, right, on the first fret. Then you've got to do a little bit of dancing because you need to put the um, dirt pedal on. Go to the bridge pickup, but also I've taken the chorus off for this bit, chorus pedal. So um, 
how you want to do that is entirely up to you. Um, but the bridge part, variation on the theme, we're going to play this. <laughs> the chorus right so the first part is played over an A so you're just changing key basically but you're still going to do similar sort of rhythm but you're just going from the uh, G to the D right so A chord I would play that on my first finger and then use my third on my second finger third's comfier to do that pull off and there I've arched my finger there, so I'm not I'm not letting the rest hold up. Up to you if you want to do that, but I think it's cleaner if you go. You know, so you hear all the notes. So, slowly. It's just that rundown, and then you repeat it again. But then with... I'll use my thumb there, just because it's... It's handy. And you're going to play A, D, F sharp, or second fret on the E, and the D again. Then. So down, up, down, D. And then. Or. I mean, you could play power chord. If you wanted, second time round does exactly the same thing, except it goes to an A, except a D. And then you're into the chorus. Now the second guitar part is just playing um, D to C to G. Well, that little fill, right? But those are the chords, so just... But you want to probably strum away with it too, right? With Kid just do a normal C as well. Entirely up to you. Now then Slash is up here doing some marvellous things. I can't um, fret it exactly as he does, but if you want to, then he does. Okay, so he starts on the 15th fret with his third finger. And you're just walking down that D shape, right? I love that. Okay, it's like arpeggio. So, and then his, his first finger does the slide from the 12th to the 11th fret. Then he goes back to the... with a bend. But I don't know how he does it, um, because he's going... And then he uses his second finger... to do that bend, and then he's using the same fingers to do the rundown. I can't do that. I can start it fine. But my third finger wants to do that bend, so I'm going to let it. Then I'm going to use my little finger. And my third finger. And my first. And then you end on the um, 12th fret on the D string, right? So in terms of fingering, do whatever you want there, whatever works. Um, so slowly. Similar pattern, just two frets down on the 13th fret this time. And that again. So that bit is just um, the same. But then you skip over a string and you hit the 10th fret on the uh, A string, right? The G. And then you've got a hammer on and a slide to the 12th fret. I think in one interview he says he sometimes goes 
does a bit of a bend there, so entirely up to you if you want to do that. And round again. And you just stay on the 10th fret for, uh, for the extra bar, okay? In the middle eight, there's um, a bit of arpeggiation going on. Chords, though, are just two bars of B minor. Two bars of G. And that repeats around a few times. Two bars of A. And then four bars of G. And then builds up into the chorus again, okay? But the arpeggiation is really nice, it plays this. So you'll hear. All right, and then when it goes to the A, you play. Which is. Like that, and then for the G, he's actually playing. G that is then behind the solo I haven't had a chance to do the solo if you want it comment below solo basically is this that riff three times then you go to an E Okay, so that's just um, two bars worth of eighth notes. Then you're going to go to G, A. And then back into the... And there you have it. So I hope you enjoyed that one. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.